it's Ross, and I'm back. Uh, another collection update, CDs this time. And, uh, one cassette. Just fuck it. Um, playing in the background is kind of low. It's, uh, Polish melodic death metal band Atropos. Uh, this is their 2011 EP Crucifixion. Um, cool shit. Uh, don't remember where I got this. I've had it for a couple years now. Um, really fun. Kind of, uh, more satanic amount of ish. Kinda. I don't know. Might be a bad description. I'm, I'm awful at describing shit. Um, but yeah, fuck it. Let's get into this thing. Alright, number one. The cassette, one and only. I uh, picked this up at Goodwill for 25 cents because, fuck it, I didn't have it. Need it. Def Leppard, Pyromania. Um, 1983. This is the band's third album. Um, this album, they took a, a different step. Um, they leaned more towards the glam and uh, hard rock vibes than on their more uh, kind of heavy metal-ish earlier work. Um, there's fucking Stone Cold Classics on this, though. Uh, Foolin', uh, Rock Rock, Till You Drop, uh, Rock of Ages, Billy's Got a Gun, Photograph, fucking Stone Cold Classics right there. Um, 25 cents, man, I can pass it up. Um, it shows it's where, but, uh, I don't know who TM is, but, uh, they're really proud of their tapes. Um... Yeah, Polygram Records, 1983. Been spinning like crazy in the fucking whip. Um, sounds good. Um, it's got a little hiss to it, but fuck. It's dope. I'm really excited to have this. Def Leppard Pyromania. Sorry, I'm drinking a lot of fucking water lately. <sighs> Next up. This was in a gift box from my homie Lane. Uh, this is Ufa Mamut. I think that's how you pronounce this band's name. Ufa Mamut. Uh, this is Eight. This is their 2017 album. Uh, this band is an Italian, uh, like, psychedelic, stonerish, doom kind of band. Really weird, but uh, they are on Neurot Recordings, so most of the acts on that label, which is founded by members of Neurosis, um, they got kind of a weird strange tinge to them but it's always fucking interesting and uh, I've listened to a couple of this band's album I'm not crazy versed in them but um, I really like this uh, really fucking good uh, like I said it came out last year Lane sent it to me in a gift pack with some other cool shit um, yeah uh, although it is titled 8 this is the band's ninth overall album and uh, yeah Artwork alone is really fucking gorgeous. Who did the artwork of this? Did it say? Malleus. Malleus. Really fucking gorgeous shit. The, wish the glare wasn't as bad. The lighting in this room is fucking awful without that window open. But uh, yeah, really fucking cool psychedelic stoner stuff. Here's the inside of all the credits. CD also looks dope. Yeah, really fucking cool. Uh, I like this packaging. Uh, yeah. Oof a moment. Probably still not how that's pronounced, but fuck if I know. Next up, another CD from my homie Lane. Uh, this is Contra. Which uh, I heard about last year when the sound came out. Uh, they won me over with the fucking band's name already. Also, the artwork is fucking awesome. The two Planet of the Apes looking motherfuckers with the Uzis fighting off a shark and looks like Cthulhu and a werewolf. Some crazy fucking artwork on here. I wish it was so fucking glossy. It's glossier than a motherfucker. But, um, 
Yeah. Uh, this is a band from uh, Ohio. Uh, stoner, Doom-ish. More stoner than Doom. Uh, this is their debut. Uh, it's fun. It's not mind-blowing. Uh, they're not reinventing the wheel. Um, uh, it didn't absolutely blow me away, but it's really cool. Uh, this is interesting. Their uh, lyric sheet is on like a transparent-ish paper. Kind of strange. Which on the video you can't see as well, but in person see nothing but my shadow on the other side of this uh, shifty records uh, yeah cool what is it? oh that's a uh, redemption code there's the uh, some more of the inner artwork I love the CD just fucking grenade on it that's dope here's the back I don't know if I showed there or not track listing um, yeah, like I said, this is cool, it's fun, but uh, I've only spun it, I think, maybe twice. Maybe not even twice all the way through. But, uh, yeah. Cool stuff. Next up. This is a CD that I got handed to me in 2003? I want to say. Um... I think I was in Little Rock and we we're at the mall and uh, these guys in this band were just kind of hanging outside thought we looked like people that would enjoy their band so they handed us a fucking demo and I fucking loved it and I held on to it for years and years and then just over time I lost it well, I put up on Facebook uh, about a month ago maybe two months at this point that I linked to this band and come to find out that my my sister-in-law's sister works with one of the band members fiancés something to that effect seems a long way around to saying that the band sent me a copy of the CD for free just because I was talking about them in 20 fucking 18 um, I'm not sure what this band is doing now if they're still together or what but uh, this is after the tragedy with the beautiful brand new. Uh, this came out in 2003. Uh, in the height of that metalcore, screamo, hard rock overlay. Um, yeah. This is fucking dope. Uh, some really, really choice songs on this album that really just hit home for me. Um, I'm going to show you the band photo. And you're going to know exactly what era I was talking about. Super nice dudes from what I remember. And it was, it was awesome of them to send me this uh, replacement copy of the CD. Which is on the nice purple. I don't have a lot of purple CDs. Really fucking cool. Uh, like I said, the album's called The Beautiful Brand New. Uh, the second track on here, Choking on Shoelaces, is a fucking jam. I love that song. Um, Sobe's Escape, I love. Uh, the whole fucking thing is great. I'll probably put Choking Shoelaces in the description just because it's my favorite. Um, yeah. Super stoked to have this. I uh, cannot thank these guys enough for hooking me up. That, that's awesome. That uh, after all this time, this band would actually get a new copy of the CD to me. Um, yeah. Really a nostalgia listen, but... Uh, Super fun, Arkansas, represent, after the tragedy, beautiful brand new. Uh, next, The next two I have are both soundtracks, um, not scores, soundtracks. I like to differentiate because sometimes when people say, or think of scores, they say soundtracks and vice versa. These are actual soundtracks. Which means they're basically a fucking mixtape, which I love. Um, this first one right here is to the Oscar-dominated coming-of-age dramedy, Juno. Uh, I fucking love this movie. Uh, just a fucking great fucking movie. Uh, Jason Reitman uh, produced. It's so fucking good. Um, some of the songs on here, man, like uh, Moldy Peaches 
uh, have a song on here, but Kimmy Dawson, who is a member of the band, uh, has quite a few songs on here. But aside from hers, you got uh, Sonic Youth, a Superstar. Um, you got Buddy Holly's Dearest. You got some Velvet Underground, Cat Power, Mata Hoople. Um, my personal favorite song is this. Uh, and the reason I was so stoked to grab this is because there are two Bell, Bell and Sebastian songs on here who I fucking adore. And uh, one of them is Piazza, uh, Piazza, Piazza New York Catcher. Um, my favorite song by Bell and Sebastian. Um, yeah. All the Young Dudes by Mata Hoople. Anyone else but you performed by Michael Sarah and Ellen Page. Uh, yeah, this is just, this is phenomenal. I've been wanting to pick up the vinyl version for a while now, and I just never got around to it. CD looks dope. Ellen Page there, looking adorable. Yeah, I've loved this movie since the first time I saw it. Uh, it did win the Best Screenplay uh, Academy Award that year. Uh, but yeah, one of my favorite films. Just so fucking fun. And I'm about to listen to this now. I'm just looking at the song the titles makes me want to fucking jam it. But yeah, soundtrack to Juno. Good shit. Bell and Sebastian. Win. Uh, the next one is for a movie that came out this year. And it's a soundtrack that's getting a lot of hype. And rightly fucking so. Because it is phenomenal. Uh, this is the soundtrack to Black Panther. Black Panther the album music from and inspired by uh, this album was uh, curated by Kendrick Lamar who I'm a huge fan of um, Kendrick got a hand in writing everything on this album uh, you see his name pop up all throughout this booklet it's awesome uh, photos and uh, images yeah you say uh, written by Kay Duckworth all through this damn booklet. Um, Duckworth being uh, Kendrick's given last name. But uh, there's a CD. Same as that album cover. Track listing there with all the uh, musicians on this side. Oh. All the stars, Kendrick Lamar and SZA as a fantastic track. Uh, I love The Ways, which is uh, Khalid and Sway Lee. I'm crazy. Uh, Bloody Waters, uh, Absol, Anderson Pack, and James Blake. That is amazing. Uh, Pray For Me, The Weeknd, and Kendrick Lamar. That's awesome. Big Shot, Kendrick Lamar, and Travis Scott. You also have uh, J-Rock on here. Futures on here. Schoolboy Q, 2 Chains. Uh... This fucking soundtrack is just insane. Uh, I was going to hold out for the vinyl soundtrack, but I just, uh, I found this on sale, uh, which is crazy it just came out. I think I bought it for like eight or 10 bucks, something like that. And, uh, I just, uh, at the time I didn't, I didn't have the funds to get the vinyl, uh, which I do plan on getting eventually. But, uh, yeah, this thing is just, it's phenomenal. Uh, this has literally not left my car until I came to do this video because I've been jamming it non-fucking-stop. Uh, this is actually my first exposure to SZA. Uh, S-Z-A. I, I, I believe I, I read that as pronounced SZA. Uh, she's fantastic. I need, definitely need to dig into her album that came out last year. I think it's called Control. Uh, yeah. Khalid, who I adore, his album American Teen came out last year's fantastic. Um, yeah, Kendrick Lamar is just a fucking brilliant curator when it came to this album. Uh, mad, mad props to uh, Ryan Coogler for trusting him to do that. Uh, Black Panther definitely one of my favorite movies I've seen so far this year. It is a fucking phenomenal, a masterpiece. Which is funny because I've seen a lot of people hating on it lately and uh, I don't see it. But uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, what I got. Uh, it's just a stack of CDs I've had sitting around for a while that I need to talk about. And uh, this I just recently got. But uh, yeah. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Uh, I'll be back in a couple days with a vinyl update. I got some cool shit over here. Uh, but uh, for now, I've been Ross. This is on the record. Peace.